Hello everyone, I'm The Worm, and we're back with Rage and Loop. Currently we're in the middle of a uh, little road trip, so how about we finish that and then we will recap, okay? So let's, uh, let's get back on here. The van slowly ambled onward. We approached a slightly more open space. It seemed to be the center of the village. It looked like there were some small shops there. But as we went on, it started to become even more desolate, and you could see more and more trees growing between the buildings. If that was where Kamafujiyoshi ended, it was only about three kilometers across. If it was about ten kilometers, square kilometers in size, it had a hundred people for every one of them. The stones I'd seen back in Yasumizu were nowhere in sight. Apparently, they really were Yasumizu exclusive. I could see a larger building nearby, and Mamiya-san told me that it was a branch school from some nearby town. All students in Fujiyoshi must get their education there before moving on to help in the fields. The smarter ones left to work outside the village upon graduating high school. Those who went from here to college were rare, meaning that, at least, relative to the locals, Chemi was a prodigy. The students from Yasumizu should have been in school this time of day. Once we passed the last residence, we entered an area mostly untouched by human hand. The road led us to an, it led us into the overgrown mountains. There were large stones on each side of the road. I don't think... have we ever gotten uh, a view of the whole mountain? I don't think we have yet. I mean, we've been mostly in a mist-covered village, so of course we wouldn't get a good view, but for all this talk of, you know, the big holy mountain, we've yet to see it, which is interesting to me. Ah, Shinnai Myojin. Do Crap. Eh, ひぐちさんから軽く聞いたんです。うーん、でもこの村の外ではあんまり聞かないのよね。この山が特別だって話。神内っていう神格も聞いたことないし。地面からすると猿関係なのかな。でもシンを猿に振り分けるのは単に
we weren't saying a word anymore. And I thought about mundane stuff like the convenience of cars. We went down the side of the mountain for about 20 minutes and eventually made it through the God's Narrow Road. Beyond the dense forest, there was relatively open space. We'd arrived at the entrance I'd passed when Haruchan was er, when Haruchan escaped the settlement and I searched for her. There were the same two large stones, and they did a great job telling me that this was some sort of boundary. I felt like I heard a hint of nervousness in her voice. We were about to enter a strange realm. Or were we already there? There was no point in thinking about it now. We just passed the gate, and... She was... I stared. Careful not to lose sight of her. Our eyes met. A mysterious red stare. White hair trailing behind her. She looked at me as the van as the van we She looked at the van as we passed. And she fell. Uh, she's trying to be creepy, but it didn't work, unfortunately. She just She's a bit too clumsy for it, I think. Sudden as it was, Hashimoto Shiyu stopped the van. I jumped out and ran to her. Oh. <laughs> she was still writhing on the ground with her hands on her head. There was no trace of the divinity and mystery from last time. Or from just a moment ago. This thing. Oh, come on now. Mm. Can't be that hurt then. The girl, or rather woman, since she was older than me, became red as a tomato before my eyes. Rakako Uematsu. Was she an albino? Her skin and hair were pale while her eyes were blood red. Her unusual appearance and manner of speech were exactly as I remembered. But man, where did this playfulness come from? Well, I hadn't, spoke, I hadn't spoken to her much last time, so maybe I didn't know her as well as I thought I did. Hmm. Slightly hesitant, I reached out for her head, gently touched it, and examined the damage. This happened last time too. お医者様でいらっしゃる。いえ、常識の範囲の応急手当ですが、とりあえず見る限りでは大怪我じゃなさそうですが、大丈夫ですか？ いえ、その、なんだか、髪を触られると、その、ゾワゾワと言いますか。うん。悪い気持ちではないのですが、なんだかその、妙、妙な心持ちが。Was the skin on her head sensitive or something? I don't think that's it, Haruaki. Yeah, not bad indeed. Maybe not the best first impression. Out of nowhere came the old lady. 
というかたあーとおばあさんその植松様がそこで間抜けに滑って頭におけがをおー松様がこの馬の方にどんなハレンチな真似をされなすったかなんとおかわいそうなんと恐ろしいシューズコスメゲロ Feeling a bit stupid for worrying about her. Worrying about her. About, yeah. Feeling a bit stupid for worrying so much about her. I explained what had happened and cleared up the misunderstanding. Well, that's, that's a nice thing to hear. Ah, <laughs> すみません上松様、とりあえずお家で横になっとるのがええ。It's nice to interact with Ty a bit before, you know, her murderous rampage. That's good. 山脇さん、ご心配なさらず。今、ちょうど野里様が休みずに来とられますからね。今、呼びますから。下まで。送りましょうおお,お願いしようか。Now this was unusual. She hated outsiders, but she couldn't say no to Hashimoto san's presence. 上松さんですっけ病院とか行かなくて大丈夫ですお医者様がいらっしゃるので。Are you referring to Nasato? そうならいいけど。手を貸すわ、乗れるお手数をおかけしますサイシ君、悪いけど後ろね歩きますよやめなさい、hmm. I've been talking nonchalantly, but her response was a stern one Well, it was true I could have caused some serious trouble if I arrived completely alone I knew this from my experience arriving via Saranaga Also, I wasn't supposed to be familiar with the area. I had to avoid looking suspicious. Hmm. Hmm. そういえばまともに自己紹介もしてませんでしたねえっ、ー、と夫妻氏春明です厨房の棒に石器の石陽明学の陽明で春明と読みますネオコンフューシニズムは夫妻氏春明様I felt like she didn't get it at all Anyway, thanks to that, I became an inhabitant of the back seat and a fellow passenger alongside Rakako Uematsu. For a brief moment, anyway. We didn't speak much. The only noteworthy thing was the strange smell of dried aromatic wood she brought along. Besides that, I was just struggling to keep my seat as we jostled down the bumpy road. Leaving a trail on the unpaved road, we arrived and drove through Yasumizu. Past the front of the Nasato mansion. Then the construction site, Tai Sun's house, probably. Until finally we arrived at the plaza. By the time we got there, Uematsu san seemed to be in perfect health, and she apologized profusely for the trouble she'd caused. Though it'd be best if she had take, took care of the wound on her head. Mami san and I went alongside her and took her to the house she was living in. Hmm. It was the same place where she'd lost her mind and the rest of us had barricaded her in. Well, I'm not sure what there is to make up. You, uh, you know, you just had an accident. That's. Uh. It's not like you did something wrong to him, but hey, you know, 
That's that's fine. Yeah, yeah. Oki ni nasarazu. Me. Hey. Whoa. There she is. Hello, little sheep. I'd completely forgotten about Uematsu-san's extra. Ora, doko no ko? Kino, ai masen deshita ka? Ototoi, yasumizu ni mayoi konda ko desu. Why would we have seen her yesterday? Ara, Kami Fujiyoshi kara? Sore ja, kyou tsurete ikimasu yo. Iye, sono. Ah, toriaizu hoka no hito ni jijou kikimasen? Mikako san wa yasumanai to. Tashi ka ne. Sore ja, Uematsu san. Uematsu-san called Meiko and brought her inside. A stronger smell began wafting from the building. Maybe they were burning incense. Slightly curious. You know, it's 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 just Rokako's transformation in the original uh, route was so strange and unique amongst all the other fates everyone had. We never got a good look inside the house, did we? ですね。しかもあの風貌にあの装束神秘的だわ。装束気づかない形は巫女服っぽいけど、隅染めなとこは仏門っぽい。If well, that was clear, but yeah. Kyo, my old chum. How are you, sir? Man, everyone just seemed to appear out uh, Hisako and, you know, her partner were coming here for the first time, but she sounds like she's somewhat, uh, acquainted with these people. At least with Misato. She, she knew his name right away, right? Hmm. Mamiya-san gave a confident journalistic smile and spoke to Kinosuke Nasatoshi. Hey, if you understand, I'll give you the path to the road. Oh, this is a very famous name. Oh, well, with Kiguchi-san's introduction, I'm going to live here in the next one, Fusaishi Haruaki-san. Eh? Hello, I'm going to be here. フジヨシ村のでではないね。はい。色々ありまして、東京から来ました。ふん。ふん。日口はよくわからんことを。しかしまあ、日の毒なことだ。では、私はこれで。リカコさん、失礼。センパティア。It's always After parting ways with him, we returned to the plaza. Ashimoto-san was taking photos of a small flower nearby. I could imagine that someone told him not to take photos of the houses. We were the only ones here, and I couldn't hear anything but the wind. It was strangely quiet. Mm, 
like always. Am I... Mm, am I missing something? Some of her comments are sounding weird to me. She knew about Shanae. She knew she somehow seems to know Nisato. Is it like a weird, like, something where she's from here originally, or... Maybe the food thing is just a cover and she's really here for something else? I, I don't know. Or maybe I'm just misinterpreting. Okay. She fell silent before finishing her derisive comment. Wise move. Wouldn't be good to finish that comment by comparing the place to a ghost town. Was that what she was doing? Okay. Despite having ne next to nothing to do with me, Nami san was helping me out a lot. Then again, she was heading there too. Good to see you, Kaori. Uh, especially good to see you. Uh, sorry about that. Especially good to see you uh, not crazy. <laughs> I'll say that. Domo. Domo, Domo. <laughs> it took a lot to keep myself from saying hello, hello, hello. Higuchi san kara kochira o goanna itadaite maerimasha. Yoroshiku onegai shimasu. Shoji Higuchi shi had pushed me into working at the dining hall here. Not the uh, watering hole, but dining hall. He he'd strongly emphasized that it wasn't under his control. That was why it was decided I'd meet Kaori san. Ooh. She had an oval, composed, slightly haggard face, and I couldn't see a hint of the demon from before. Apparently, if it was for their children, some parents could become both demons and angels. I kind of felt like that applied to the entire history of mankind, for better or worse. <laughs> A few layers on that there line. Ooh. まあ、そんな。でも本当にいいのかしら。こんな。ね。いいんです。いろんな人に言われますけど、いいところじゃないですか。そう。でも聞いたかわからないけれど、食堂と言っても炊き出し係みたいなものだから。その。言いにくいのだけど、お給金とかは食事はもちろん出せるのだけれど、構わないですよ。お金がなくても素朴に生きていければそれで。まあ、はっ、じじいかよ。よしつぐ、my まあ。<笑> boy. How you doing? Suddenly, Yoshitsugu Oribe-kun walked right through the door, displaying the same recklessness that probably gotten him killed last time. Yoshitsugu, anta gakkou wa dou shita no? Oh, he's too cool for school, Kaori. Uruse! Ikane tsutten daro! Oi, shinizoku nai yaro! Shinizoku natte koko ni kita sou ja nai ka! Dasse na! Hmm. Word spreads quickly. Yoshitsugu, anta nante koto wo! <laughs> yeah. Oh, word spread fast around here. They'd called and told Kaori-san about it, then she told several other people, and it probably leaked. Really? 
学校も行かない手伝いもしないあんたが何を言うのうっせえおいバカてめえ茶髪やろおめえ本当に死にに来たのかよ詐欺とかじゃねえんだろうな I t w i t c h e d ははそんなわけないじゃないかはははははインディーおいバばこいつ超怪しいぞ私はババアなんて名前じゃありませんあははははは,はあの外野から悪いんだけど妻子くん悪ふざけはほどほどにねははははははすみませんだけどまあ皆さんとは長い付き合いになりそうですから親しくはしたいですね義次くんっていうのかいじゃあ一つ賭けをしようかあなんだよ腰抜けがよえっとね I looked into my large bag and took something. Hey, okay, so he does have a large bag. And so that's. Yeah, I think I mentioned this last time. I was curious if he still had his belongings. Ooh, specifically a new pocket knife. Ooh. Everyone instantly fell silent. I ignored them and continued. Hora, Teo Koste Okarasa. Knife a. Hi. そこに置くね。All right. Now this is a man who's experienced death several times over by this point. So、uh, he's not afraid of a little pain. I'm, I'm, but I'm guessing this is meant to kind of, you know, intimidate or, you know, get Yoshitsugu to calm down a bit. 何言ってんのてめえ。お近づきの印に。指詰めさせてあげるって言ってるのおかしいだろっつーのつーかそんなん普通自分でやるもんだろそうだ自分でできねえからそうやってやらせようってんだやっぱ腰抜けじゃねえかあ自分でしてもいいんだけどこれは賭けであり度胸試しだからね僕を腰抜け呼ばわりした君も度胸を示すべきだろ君がナイフを振り下ろせれば君の勝ち逃げなければ僕の勝ちつまり見事君が僕の指を切り落とせれば2人とも勝ちだそうなったら晴れて友達になろうじゃないか I do have to wonder though I mean it's not just him and Yoshitsugu here、uh, we have several other people here、uh, if this story of what he's doing spreads around talk about first impressions that's、uh, quite something ね、義次君。I smiled and pointed to the knife on the table with my finger. 何何バカなこと言ってんだ頭おかしいんじゃねえのさっきからそれしか言ってないね。うん。だから、おかしいんだよ、頭が。君は、まともな人間の方がいいのそんな格好で、<笑>お母さんに当たり散らしておいて。僕はおかしな人間の方が好きさ。見せてくれよ。君の行かれてるところを。ははははは。Man, this was just too much fun. Yoshitsugu kun looked right about to shoot his pants. But it was time to back off. なんちゃって。What a shame, huh, Yoshitsugu kun? 嘘嘘。そんな痛いことやんないよ。まあ、急には無理でも、じきに仲良くしてくれたら嬉しいな。よろしくてめえ気使ったつもりか Jokes aside, he was actually pretty sharp. He and his brother were nothing alike, but it wouldn't be surprising if he also had a talent for seeing through people. He had a Gucci blood in his veins after all, perhaps it was genetic. He left without saying another word, and k a o r i s a n didn't even tell him to go to school. すみません、変なことをしちゃいました。いいえ。うちのバカ息子がどんな失礼をでもちょっとびっくりしたわ弾力が終わりなのねそんなことないですよ賭けを放棄したので僕の負け多分追い詰めたら彼はやってみせたでしょうからね After all, he was the type who'd pick a fight with someone with something inhumane and die excuse me, inhuman and die でもお母さんの前で血を見せるのはためらったんでしょう。きっと
。根はいい子なんですよね。彼は。My words almost made Halverson smile, but. いいえ、本当。お恥ずかしい限りで。体ばかり大きくなって。私などはもう口出しくらいしかできなくて。It's gotta be tough, you know? Single mother, two kids. Yeah, I could imagine it'd be difficult. She decided to keep up the act of the strict mother. But we do, we do see from the, from the main route from last time that, you know, she really loves him. Considering his death is what、uh, broke her. Puberty, puberty and rebellion sure seem complicated. I did just that. あなたもしかしてあっち系の人間追っ手がかかって逃げてきたとか捕まったらけじめとかえいや違いますよ指詰めは適当に言っただけですその手の事情で皆さんに迷惑かけることはないですならいいけど She was actually suspicious、hmm. I had to act out a better normal person. This wasn't the time to mess around. To, to ni kaku, zats yo demo nan demo shimasu no de, skatte yatte ita dakereba to. Yeah, a bit, bit late <laughs> for that, Haruaki. Ah, eh, sore wa kamae masen yo. Dono michi, ue no kata no kimeta koto nano da shi. Tada, sumu tokoro o dou s h i o ka shira ne. Oh. I kind of expected them to be already decided on that. Ja, I sat got that I take him as you. Dare ni tanomono ga i deskane. Kihon teki ni Tochino Hanashiwa Yamaki san no tokoro kashira. Saki no oba san yo. Kuruma de tota i k e n y a ni sunde la serva. Oh, yeah. When Takumi san gave me the key to my dorm room, he told me he got it from the old lady. Was she like the landlord of Yasumizu? Sono hen ni ras sharanai kana. Uematsu san no omi mai toka de. Ara, Uematsu san do ka sareta no? Saki koronde, atama o utte. I left that talk to Mami san and opened the door so I could see the plaza. Okay, by the time I realized that someone else was on the other side, it was fully open. Oh, seeing the person's face almost made me say her name in surprise. Shiemi Sarazawa. I couldn't save her. I couldn't fulfill my promise. But we'd met again, thanks to that strange looping phenomenon. Whether it was something to feel thankful about was another matter. I kept my surge of emotions under control and gave an amicable smile. But. Just as she made that simple sound, a lone tear ran down her cheek. Her voice was calm. But the first tear made way for many more, and they were soon streaming from both eyes. Her reaction didn't seem to be anything more than confusion at her body going out of control. なんか催涙ガスとか煮込んだりしてないですよね。記者の方にお出しする獅子なれが傷んでたのかしら。いやいや、行ってみただけです。なんかこうなんだろうな。更年期かな。<笑>まあ、ちえみちゃんはまだ大丈夫よ。<笑>えっとすみません。変なとこお見せしちゃって。Her eyes didn't look good, but her voice was cheerful and carefree, just like my memory. That was a word you used on strangers. Why had she cried? Eh, 
そんなに恐ろしい外見かないやいやいやいや普通にシュッとされてますし全然これはなんだなんだろう謎現象ですあ私芹沢千恵美って言います学生で里帰り中です第一印象最悪かもですがよろしくお願いします She bowed to me. She. She really didn't know who I was. Hmm. Due to the looping phenomenon, dying had sent me back to the point when I was wandering around on my bike. It was something that actually happened, and I had to accept it. But it was also completely unreasonable. I didn't have any good way to reasonably explain it. It was the looping centered around me. Was I the only one who had memories of that last time? It wouldn't be strange for there to be someone else. My, memory, my memories were fragmented right now, and I often remembered things only when it counted. It could be that the others had forgotten almost everything, but still had certain fragments of their memories and feelings. Hmm. I had to stop thinking about this. I couldn't have asked her. To console me about the tragic end that hadn't even happened yet. I'd have been barking up the wrong tree. If everything worked out, I hoped I could get close to her again. Love that depended on death, despair, and the suspension bridge effect was better off staying in the realm of fiction where it belonged. Hmm. We exchanged a few words, but I didn't have much time. I had to focus on getting a place to stay. That's, uh. That's quite a, uh. mature and advanced outlook to have on all this. He's, the ability for him to stay composed during that whole situation, that was. that was really heavy. Um, so. He's definitely... I definitely don't have the same personality type as he. <laughs> I can say that much.、Uh, I don't know how I would have reacted to something like that, but... Yeah, I don't know.、Um, I think I'm going to call it here today.、Um, I unfortunately don't have that much time before I have to get ready for some other stuff. And we just had a little auto save there, so I think we will call it. Our reintroduction to Yasumizu seems to be going pretty well, besides a few irregularities.、Uh, other than that,、uh, I'm sure next time we'll continue that and hopefully get a game plan going for what to do tonight.、Uh, yeah. Okay, hope you're all doing well. I've been The Warm, and this has been Raging Loop.、Um, I tried, you know. I'm still. <laughs> I don't know how long I can keep saying this before it gets,、uh, gets old. But、uh, I'd say I'm still relatively new to, to all this sort of recording and uploading and all that, this stuff. So、uh, I have the microphone in a little bit of another place now. If it's too far,、uh, let me know. But I felt it was too close before, so hopefully it's still alright.、Um, In any case, hope you stay well. See you next time.